Hello and welcome to Prague, to one of the nicest picture streets there is and that we both with Honza love. Unfortunately, not too many businesses on it, so there's not much to do except to take an Instagram picture. Luckily, there's a parallel street with it, which is called Havelska, and we're gonna introduce you that street and all the businesses on it today. From the picture street of Kotzi, we have moved only 20 meters to the main thing of today's episode, which is Street Havelska or the Havels Market. And the very first place we want to show you is this coffee place behind me, Alfredo Cafe, where we start our every day with Honza. I usually sit down, I have a coffee, and then he picks me up and we start filming. But I never call it Alfredo Cafe, I call it Linda's Coffee Place. Cafe? Thank you, Linda. Thank you very much. So as I said, Linda's coffee, because the co-owner is Linda and uh, she's a great host and I am a happy customer here. Not only coffee, you can get some uh, delicious desserts and some uh, kish cakes. Uh, so if you are here, step in and look at their beautiful selection. Honza picked this lovely looking cake that is still warm from the oven. The personal attachment I have to this coffee place is that I can sit and look at my elementary school and the view the other way is also beautiful because I can look at the street and the church that is amazing. Hashtag my office. Absolutely true. Honza can confirm. So this was our first stop on the street and even though it's a relatively short one, there's much more to see, so follow us. The next stop is also a coffee shop, but it's called the Old Prague Gallery. Uh, the difference here is that uh, it is sort of a coffee shop during the day where you can get a lemonade, but in the evening it turns more into a bar where you can get a drink or some good wine and there's always a good atmosphere when I walk by. The reason it's called a gallery is because inside they actually sell paintings and they have them displayed. And there's one more interesting thing. There are those hooks at the top of the ceiling, which are not for a chandelier. And if you want to know what they're for, you can check out our patreon.com slash honest guide, where you can become a Patreon, support us, and we do something called mini guides, where we explain little things like these. So I'm sorry, I'm not going to tell you in this episode. The places we're showing you today are sort of hidden in the buildings, but make sure to look at the buildings as well, because you can see some interesting things. Like for example here, this used to be a Gothic arch of the building, and eventually it was rebuilt to a Baroque arc. See? Partially a benefit of all the places we're showing you today is that they're hidden. So if it starts raining outside, like it is right now, you don't have to worry about it. And the next place we're gonna go to is Uzlata Hoslona by the Golden Elephant. And we're gonna hop in for some food lunch. We usually come to this place, to Slon, uh, to have a beer, great beer from a tank, but you can get a lunch or dinner. In this case, I got my favorite tomato sauce with dumplings, and Honza got the traditional Czech svičkova. It smells so good. Our meal was absolutely delicious. Uh, the dishes go around six or seven euros during lunchtime. But as we mentioned, we usually come here for a beer and a lot of people do. And if you come here and drink 100 beers, they have a little game for it. You get a stamp for every beer you drink throughout the time. You will get your own elephant on the wall that you can paint or write on. It's pretty cool. I don't have mine yet. I honestly hate when I try to watch content on my phone or on my computer and it's restricted to a certain country. For example, when I go abroad and I can't watch Czech movies. Well, for something like that, and for people like me or you, there's a service called Surfshark VPN, who's also the partner of our video. And Surfshark VPN, what it does for you is that you can pretend to have another IP address or to be in another country. They will give you an IP address from 
any country in the world you can think of. As I mentioned, it works on cell phones, it works on computers, iPads, and if you use our code for this service, which is Honest Guide, or the link is below in the video, in the description, uh, you will get 83% off and three months for free. So you can try it out for yourself. Me and Honza both use it and we do like it. So thank you Surfshark VPN for partnering with us. You're our longtime partner and we do appreciate it. But now let's go back to the Havelska street. It is after rain, so we can go back onto the street, but I keep referring to it as the market because it is a market from the 13th century and partially it's still here. So if you walk around, you can get some vegetables, some souvenirs and buy something. We have reached an intersection of the Havelska street and the intersection, you can go two ways. Either you can go to the biggest square there is in Prague, which is the Wenceslas square, or you can go to the oldest square in Prague, the most popular one. It's not the oldest, but it's called the Old Town Square. So all the tourists do walk through here, but only very few of them actually take the turn to the Havel's Market and to the places and venues we showed you today. So I think you should make the turn and discover them. And there's two more places we want to show you. Next place we want to show you on Havelska is Havelska Koruna, a cafeteria type place where you take a plate, pick your food, and it's mostly Czech food. Also, if you have our book, you may know the place from our book because we mention it there. Oh, you have our book? Yes. And that's the place. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, ladies. Uh, <laughs> you can have a picture, of course. They actually came here with the book and they said we're going to the place because it's in the book. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> and we're finishing the Havelska street by the Havel church. This is it. Uh, not only beautiful from the outside, but also on the inside. So if you see the door open, walked in or uh, come on a Sunday mass. And we have a big attachment to the church with Honza because we actually uh, created a crowdfunding campaign where we collected money with you, our viewers, for a new bell that will very soon be in that uh, tower over there. Our walks through the city center of Prague are usually much longer. This one was very short, but I believe that we fit enough, enough places for you to try and to discover. And there are many that we didn't mention that you can discover on your own. So as you see, even a side street can hide many hidden gems and many places that are great for your visit. So I hope we show them to you today and that when you come to Prague, you will make the turn and discover on your own. I hope to see you next week. If you don't want to miss an episode, you can subscribe, click the little bell, which will notify you of the new episode. And if you write us in the comments, we will love to read your opinion on our show. And I'll see you next week. And a Czech word at the end is tržiště, which is a market. Tržiště is a market. Havelské tržiště is Havel's market.